Hi, quick demo of the simple IoT UI changes. So we're moving more towards a, a tree-based, tree of nodes-based UI. So I'm working on a branch in, in the simple IoT code base feature node graph. So if we check that out and we build simple IoT. And run it. We can then open up the UI in a browser. So now, now we just basically see one, 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 what we call node. We can view children of this node and expand the children by clicking on the arrow to the left. And then we can al also expand the details of this node by clicking on this this little button here. Let's give this node a name, root, and then the root node has one one child node which is the admin user. So let's add some more devices to make this a little more interesting. So we'll switch back to the terminal. And let's send some data. The, the README has a few examples on how to send data. So let's create two new two new device nodes by just sending some points. First example, I sent data using HTTP. And the second one, I sent data using the NATS protocol. So now let's switch back to the browser. And we'll see two new device nodes. Let's give those names. Okay, so now <coughs> we have a, a root node, a, an admin user, and two device nodes. If we want to give a user access to just one of these devices, what we can do is create a, a new group, and then that new user and one of these devices could be part of that group. So to add nodes, we can expand the detail of any node and then click the Add button. And we just added a new group. And then to this group, we can add a user. And we'll call this user Joe. And then let's move one of these devices into that group. So let's expand the detail, click the move icon, and let's say, let's move this to group A. Okay, at this point, group A has a, a, a user named Joe and, and this device. So now if we log in as Joe, we'll see group A and then the, the user and device that that are part, both part of that group. So this is how you give users access to just, just part of the system and basically the, the node they're a member of and then all of its descendants the user would have access. Uh, you can have groups within groups or subgroups so we can Oops, I hit the wrong thing. I hit move instead of add, so let's add a group. Let's call this group B. And then we could move this device into group B if we wanted. Now we have the root, no root node, uh, group A, group B. And then inside group B, we'll see device two. So hopefully this gives you an idea of kind of where we're going with the UI on this. Um, eventually these nodes will be used to also represent rules. And so underneath, underneath the device, you might have a rule node. We also would like to represent um, 
I.O. for a particular device as a node and, and so on. And if you expand the, the details, this device view could be tailored for the particular device you're viewing. You know, if you have a custom device, you could modify the, the view for that t particular device type to display the, the data relevant to that device. This, uh, th this UI has, has been inspired somewhat by a tool called Workflowy. I'll just show it to you here in case you've never seen it. So Workflowy is, is a tree-based note system where you, you can create notes and then drill down in, uh, move stuff around. It's, it's pretty nice. I use it a lot. So uh, th this type of UI has kind of been some a little bit of an inspiration for, for what we're trying to do with, uh, with the uh, simple IoT uh, UI. So anyway, hope this helps. Um, feedback is welcome, and excited to see where this goes. Thanks.